Oh, g'day scrappers. Today I'm just scrapping out some microwave ovens and uh, a few people have asked me the difference between a regular microwave oven and an inverter. So um, there's really not a lot difference except the inverters don't have a transformer like the uh, original kind of microwaves have. They've got, it's more like a circuit board with a bit of copper on it. Um, Apparently they operate a lot more efficiently because the transformers need to operate at full power when they're running, whereas the inverter circuit board just um, adjusts, adjusts the, uh, the power according to its needs. So it's, apparently it's more efficient. Um, I don't know. but uh, So since I'm scrapping them out, I thought I'd put aside two... Uh, very similar models. These are both sharp carousels, and so this one's your regular um, style, and it's uh, 1100 watts. This is the inverter with it's actually 1200 watts, and because it doesn't have a transformer, it's much lighter than that. Even though this one is about uh, about an inch and a half bigger all, all round. Um, this original one's much more heavier and they're probably you can still probably buy these um, they're still probably current but anyway so that's all I'm going to do today is I'm going to scrap these two out and just show you the difference show you that they're you know the transformer and you know your regular thing here and just show you what the inverter circuit board looks like that replaces the transformer basically your regular microwaves underneath you got your standard four four screws and that's where the transformer sits um, in the inverter obviously there's no transformer it's still got the four screws and that's where the actual um, circuit board sits in place of the transformer so we still it's very almost identical to scrap out we're not going to get a transformer out of that, but we still get some copper out of there, so they're still worth picking up. Um, you know, we don't get as much copper, and you know, these don't necessarily completely replace these ones. You know, these are still you know available brand new, so um, they're going to be available still for a long time. On on you know, as far as scrapping is concerned, um, obviously some newer and cheaper models, the transformers are aluminium instead of copper um, sometimes it's half and half uh, so usually sell them whereas these inverters all the circuit boards the copper that is in them it's actually a really nice piece of copper um, it's always copper there they don't put aluminium in in um, these inverters all right so I'll just open them up and we'll have a look so I've just undone the screws Because I've undone the screws of the transformer, we've already got it sitting there loose, ready to go. And the same with the inverter. As you can see, we've got a big transformer here. Here, we've just got the inverter circuit board. Everything else is very much the same. Um, you know, obviously we've got a fan, um, we've got our mag magnetrons, and um, that's it. So, and like you probably already know, if you've seen my other microwave videos, I don't touch the ma micro uh, the magnetrons, I don't scrap them. Sure, there's a tiny little bit of copper in there, but I don't bother with them. Um, I'm just happy to get the transformers and the fan for the, um, or the, the motor for the fan and that's it all right so I'll just go in a little bit okay probably the other thing I didn't mention is that uh, the regular microwaves 
with your transformer will have your large capacitor whereas the um, inverter microwaves don't really have one of these big capacitors it might just be a little one on the actual circuit board so just a safety precaution for myself all I really worried about if there's any charge it's in the capacitor so I just cut cut the capacitor wires and that's it so if there is any charge left in that capacitor we don't have to touch that anymore I don't remove them there's no point in removing them and uh, same with the uh, magnetron I don't bother taking them out I just cut the the wires and that's it snip a few wires off the transformer and there we go we've got ourselves a nice transformer now um, some people like to use transformers from microwaves um, especially because now there's inverters you know they're becoming less and less um, me personally I've already got a big stock of transformers that I've pulled out of microwaves really big ones and all kinds of sizes so I don't need to keep any more transformers I scrap them all out for the copper um, I always check to see if there's there that's copper or not if this is copper that's always copper but sometimes or a lot of times these can be uh, aluminium so all we have to do is just sort of scratch it as I said because because I'm scrapping this out anyway it doesn't matter uh, I know this is damaging the transformer but I'm not using this transformer anyway okay now as you can see it's a silvery color and so obviously that means this is aluminium most likely the one on the top will be copper um, don't find aluminium aluminium much unless they're really really cheap like $40 microwaves but because this is aluminium it's no point in busting this out to get that little bit of copper you actually get more value just selling it as a scrap transformer as it is so that's it so all I'm going to do is just cut the wires keep that bit of wire and this just goes in with motors and transformers now and so you know that's how we get the value it's hit and miss some people say they every microwave they scrap is always uh, aluminium you know that's not for me I only get about say 20% microwaves with aluminium the rest are all copper but you know that's how it goes it's hit and miss really but that's that's the main the main thing anyway is the transformer so let's go over to the um, you know the rest is very straightforward obviously we've just got the fan um, and I'll just finish scrapping this out we've got a circuit board here some people like to get the um, the silver mylar that's in the keypad at the front um, there's also a motor underneath that turns the turntable but basically we just want all this wire it's not really a, a microwave scrapping I've already done scrapping a microwave so um, you know the rest so let's go over to the inverter all right so here we've got the inverter version so again they're the same brand uh, slightly obviously different models um, but very similar in size so there we have it so in place of the transformer so all I'll do here before I get into it um, I still want to disconnect the magnetron and there we go disconnect a couple other wires and there we have it that is the inverter and um, as you can see it's basically just a low grade circuit board and it's kind of like a transformer it's just a different you know it's not your big heavy transformer so you can see there's two uh, spools of uh, copper wire there we've got a uh, extruded aluminium heat sink here but that's it so um, pretty interesting and um, so you know if you're after copper then this is actually probably better than getting this transformer because this one's just aluminium 
sure we can get the copper out of this top one um, but then you're all you're left with is a bit of aluminium and scrap steel so um, for me it's or you know for most people it, it should be better off selling this as a scrap transformer and getting the, the full price for the maximum weight whereas this one here um, you know we've also got a little copper spool here uh, but yeah it's it's not worth selling as a low grade board you're better off taking this bit of copper so that's it and again I don't touch the magnetrons obviously I get that little circuit board there and um, we get some good copper out of this uh, fan motor so always want to get that it's really easy to get it out a little bit of copper on the ends here we can take off and we've got the uh, you know we've got a little circuit board a uh, little transformer here and that's about it so there we have it regular microwave oven a large transformer the inverter microwave oven that's the transformer there or the, the whole thing is actually just in, called an inverter but we do have a bit of a transformer there and I'll, I'll just uh, break this off and get that copper out So we've got that ferrite core here. I do actually get it, quite a few people asking me, you know, what is it? It's, well, it's ferrite. And basically it's a magnetic, you know, sort of like a ceramic-y steel. And we just throw this in with scrap steel. Um, that's fine. Okay, I might actually just take it out. Okay, so that's the other end of the circuit board. A couple of very tiny little IC chips, won't really worry about. Obviously we want the extruded aluminium. And this is it. So if I just sort of somehow cut it out. And so, yeah, um, certainly not as much copper as a regular transformer, but better than a transformer that doesn't have copper is just aluminium. So at least in the inverters, you will get, um, you know, your copper. And so when you're picking them up, you might notice that it's really light and you might think, oh, there's only aluminium. Well... You know, have a look and to see whether it's an inverter, and then you're definitely going to have copper in there as well. So obviously we've got the spool there. They're obviously the capacitors that replace the large capacitor in the uh, transformer version. And you got your fine, fine bit of copper in there. And this stuff here, I actually I like this because it's really easy to to wind out and it's very soft and. Um, uh, if people are, if you're into uh, crafts and looking for some nice soft copper to uh, for craft making or stuff like that, um, this is actually probably uh, one of the best sources of nice um, soft copper winding. Um, it's you know got a lot of strands to it, but it, it stays together and it's nice and thick and. You know, a, a decent little wad. It's not hu huge, but I just really like this copper. And yeah, as I said, it's if you're into uh, crafty stuff and you need copper, you know, like that, um, 
it's about as good as it gets, you know, so keep an eye out for inverter microwaves. And obviously we've got the little, the very fine copper wire here. And there's lots of that too, and we can just take all that out, and I'll put this into my melt bucket, and I'll make some copper bars from it. So that's it. That was the inverter and your regular uh, microwave oven. So yeah, so that was the difference. Uh, there's not a lot of difference in every other aspect of it. You're still getting your copper out of both of them. Still got some transformers and stuff on the side, the fan motors. Um, but, you know, if you're not getting a, a transformer like that, then you've got yourself an inverter microwave and you're getting stuff like that. Um, so that's the only difference. Um, and, you know, like I said, those people that are always getting aluminium transformers, well, at least you've got some copper here, and, and yeah, this copper is about, it's just, it's so soft, it's just really fine, uh, really nice to handle, and, um, you know, the, there's about, oh, I don't know, about six foot of this, no, probably more, probably about ten foot of it, so one continuous piece, so if you're looking at for arts and crafts, um, you know, occasionally, you know, someone might ask you, I uh, do you, you got any copper that I can use for arts and crafts? Well, you know where to get it. You just look for inverter microwaves. And um, that's where you get this nice piece here. And then the rest is just uh, for copper scrap. And so, yeah, I'll, I'll just uh, finish them off. I'll get the wires. I'll get the uh, copper spool out of here. Um, same as this one here and uh, finish them off and um, send the rest to scrap metal. All right, guys, well, I hope that was a little bit of interest. Uh, just wanted to show the difference between a regular microwave and an inverter. That was it. All right, well, uh, keep scrapping, have fun, and I'll catch you next time.